Hello guys and welcome back to some more Rome 2 Total War Empire Divided DLC. We've been playing as Aurelian. And we're going alright. Um, if you haven't watched the last few episodes of my series, I go recommend you do watch that to kind of catch up. But briefly, we retook Rome in my last session. We've also taken the whole of Southern Italy and Sicily. And the last two I need to take now is uh, we've got Corsica and... Is it Sardinia? The two islands to the west of Italy? I think they are. Um, and also going to watch the north uh, west as well from where we've got the Gallic Empire still controlling the top half of northern Italy, more or less apart from one of the provinces. And it's going okay. It's going all right. I'm actually quite happy with what's gone on so far. It's been kind of cool. I've got two of my armies down here defending. Uh, I've got another one uh, up here in the north. And I've also got a another one here. I've got two more in the Greece Peninsula, um, just up there. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's going fine. I'm trying to think what the next best decision to do is. I'm thinking of going towards finishing off the Roman pretenders. Uh, I believe that's a good idea. There is objectives, obviously, like I always say every episode, which is this whole 10 provinces um, entirety, which I think I'll get one if I get these two, which is kind of cool. And also uh, push out and take the top of Northern Italy, that would actually get me some more bits and bobs. There also is um, a nice bonus objective, which is catch, uh, basically capture all the Roman pretenders, uh, what they own, and also research the consolidated for it, which I think I'm doing at the moment. Um, yes, I am. Cool. So I guess the main idea is I want to try and take this settlement, but what I normally like to do is try and uh, land in the north and then come down from the south, because the issue is when you try taking settlements from the sea, is it becomes a bit more difficult, especially with some units. Um, the good thing is that I think I'm remotely safe on this side now. So I can actually move out and try and get there, if possible. So there isn't any fleets around. So I can use the fleet that I've got here to move up. Um, although saying that, also I have got uh, the client states of the Gallic Empire uh, kind of bearing down on, on Carthage. So I might have to move these. Oh, that's what I was doing. So let's move this up. Let's move you out. There we go. So I think the idea is if I can get all my units together, I can seize this in one go. Um, and I think we're safe more or less up here, which is cool. How are we doing down here for popularity? Um, so what do we want to get in this settlement? So we need something to keep the um, sort of sanitation up and the squalor down. Now, I usually go for um, religious gatherings, which is not too bad to get. Oh, they could get a consecrated ground. Because, th for whatever reason, Rome doesn't have much in terms to prevent um, certain things from going off. Unless they've got something in their um, eating place, which they can build. Which they don't seem to have. It seems like the main towns can build like aqueducts and stuff, but the, um, the other bits can't. So, maybe it might be a good idea to have a religious gathering in there and then remove this. Will cost me to do that, though. It's a bit... Well, it's going to cost quite a lot of money. Get rid of you. Um, where were you moving to last episode? I think you were just coming up to here, wasn't you? Yeah. I'll put you there. And then we're also having a force march up to this settlement on the north. Just to watch the northern borders, really. Um, and everything else is kind of much very stable. Where's my spies, anyway? What are you doing? I think you can move around now. Uh, there's no need for you just to be... Here. I probably want to come down this way with this spy. And then I've also got Claudia, who's just having a look. Just keeping an eye up here. Make sure there's no more units that come down. So I've got my fleet rearming itself, which is good. Um, and I think that's it for this turn. Again, I'm really loving the game. It's, it's fantastic. Oh, there we go. I'm wondering when they were going to come back down. Looks like we've got Emperor Gaius Tetris is deciding to have a bit of fun. I'm not going to win against these guys anyway because they've just got such better units. Plus they've got range units as well. It's a bit of a shame that they've uh, come back down a little bit. Alright, so let's try and do some military sab sabotage. Stop him from moving anywhere. Nice. So that has actually slowed him down a lot so he won't be able to move that far. Which is good. 
And how are we doing here? Okay, so they have got a fleet down here now, which is a bit of a worry. But if I do this, blockade it for now. And then move up with these units. It means that I'm in actually a good position to attack them, uh, which is okay. There we go. Um, right, so do we want to actually just attack this head on? Because there is fortifications. Now, the downside is I don't have... Oh, actually, I do have some light artillery. The problem is with it, though, I don't have any uh, armies that are on the shore. How many... F how's this fleet doing? It's got some fleet, but not much. Yes, yeah, so I think I can actually hold there for now. What I want to do is actually land my units. And then I'll be able to use the ballista uh, to do that. But right now I'm in a bit of a difficult situation where I can't do that. And I think what he might do is he might land himself. That's fine. So we'll attack that settlement. Uh, have we got any more? So we've got... So I can't disable that just yet. Yeah, so in the main settlements, which are the ones that have the walls, you can build what you can see as aqueducts and stuff, which means you can get sanitation that way. Uh, so I usually think that's a way you have to build them in the game. Because um, I know, like, barbarians, they get wells in any of their settlements. But for whatever reason, you can't do that with um, any of the Roman or Latin cultures, which is a bit strange. Uh, so that's that there. Just make sure we're not forgetting anything else that we've decided to get rid of. That's fine for now. Aqueduct. Let's hold you there for now. Hold you. Spy, you come back down this way from it. I'm going to move my fleet round. See if I can possibly. Um, just to help. Because the main threat I'm going to have is from this direction. So it's more or less the west... Uh, the west coast of Italy. I'm going to have most of the, the problems dealing with. Uh, shall I upgrade one of these settlements a bit more? I can upgrade this one. It does increase some squalor a little bit. But I feel that it will help in terms of food growth. And then I can also get some food in there. I've got plenty. Uh, which is not too bad. I think that's pretty much it for now in all terms of moving. How are we looking down here? Ah, it looks like we've kind of gone around and segregated them off. So there's a unit here. Oh, that looks like there's a Latin rebels. Um, somehow showed up. Gallic Rome's there moving away. Plague! Eye sickness is affecting Pervantium. Okay. Sitlet. Okay. Rat catchers. Nice. So we've got some positive attributes there. And what's happened is these units have actually fled. Which is good. So now I can actually... Disembark my units and actually attack properly. Now again, I could just auto resolve this, but I like doing like fighting some battles every now and again. So we're going to go in and get that on with. Um, and the cool thing, like I said, the the units that will reinforce will actually be able to attack the walls as well because I don't actually have any um, siege units. That's fine. Okay, so it's dry. That's not too bad. Okay, so where's my reinforcements going to come from? That's the big question. Um, I think they should show up at this side of the settlement, if I remember correctly. Uh, where's my map? Yeah, they're going to show up from here. So they're going to attack all these walls. Um, so what I'll be wanting to do is move my units from that side to this side. Just to attack some of these uh, fortifications. Okay. There we go. Right. Right, so we've got some units here to take out. So let's do some ramming. Let's get them down. I'm doing some damage on them. Now I should be able to whack these straight out in one go with a ramming. Nice. Nice. 
is under attack. Oh, don't hit my ship. Oh, man, they hit my ship. Fire them, guys. Right, he's getting fired on. So let's move around this way. Where's my cavalry on these units? We got any cavalry? Yeah, we do. Okay, cavalry, go for him. Let's do some ramming on them. Oh, did they retreat? They must have broken. Oh, they have. Wow. Oh, also, my ship's kind of a bit stuck. No! You bastards. There we go. That's one of the problems I have with um, the ship combat in these games is that ramming can basically just is so powerful if you can get it off. Looks like these guys are a bit stuck. Right, so I want to get these guys firing on the tower here. Looks like we've got rid of all the archers as well. So we're just out of range, which is good. Uh, is my blisters coming yet? Ah, there they are. Can you guys not just fire automatically? I mean, I do need to knock down the wall, which is a, a big deal. Um, so I might as well just finish off getting rid of that wall. Then I'll go for the towers. At least that gives me an entrance. I think he's still... Is they still retreating? I think they're broke, so I'm just going to send those units down to finish them off. These are definitely broke. They're not moving at all, so there is a bit of a bug there with them. Go on, get rid of this tower. Nice. Don't know if we're going to finish these off with the supply we got left. Fifty-three and forty-nine. We might be able to take down two of the towers, but not this one. Speed it up a little bit. Let's see if we can do that a bit more. Before I send my units in. If I can take these two towers down, it means I can at least get up there and not be pelted. Uh, well, I'm slightly going to pelted by this tower. The enemy's tower has been destroyed. Nice. Okay. So you... Oh, no. Focus on that tower. Oh no. The enemy's tower has been destroyed. Oh, that actually, the final few shots destroyed that tower. Holy hell! Right. Well, that's the blisters done. Um, they did start with full ammo, which was a bit surprising, to be honest. But then again, they did fire off a few shots. Um, okay. So, what's the plan here? Um, where's my best? Where's my shitty units? Which is probably these ones. Actually, no. Let's get these guys in first to begin with. And then we'll get these ones in next with some better units to come up. And there's some more units here. And then we've got the final line, which are these ones. And then we've got all the cavalry units, which are these ones. So you can come down to here. Where's all my archers? I've got a few. There's quite a few pegged around, aren't there? So actually, I might be able to peg these from out of range. There you go. Move these guys out. How are we doing on this tower? 76. How many more shots have you got left? Wow, loads. Okay. Can you, can you ram them? I think they're actually broke. Never mind then. So this tower's almost down. A few more hits. We're pelting these guys with arrow fire. Good, good, good. Go away, don't want notifications of that. I already am aware of it. Okay, 
Okay, cool. So that tower's down. Um, I don't know if they'll be able to actually work on the next tower. It's a bit far away and the range of these um, units aren't that good. Just having a look now. Yeah, don't think they'll be able to reach that far, which is a bit of a shame. Although because of that, it has opened up the idea of being able to attack this one. And then send these two units in to land. Yeah, nice. So I can send the two melee units I've got on ships to land here. It's getting the speeding up a little bit. Our hidden units have been discovered. Right, let's move units in. There we go. Move units forward. Right, two seconds. Sorry about that. Dog barking again. Uh, so I had to kind of sort him out a little bit. For whatever reason. I'm not sure what he was barking at. Okay, how are we doing on this one? We're moving in. I could just charge in, to be honest. It's just I'm always worried about taking casualties, but I should be fine for now. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, so I want two to come this way. And attack straight off the bat. And then I want other two to take the main tower. Oh, they got units there waiting. Push in, guys. Go for it. Let me get rid of that. There we go. We're pushing in. Looks like a lot of my archers have... Uh... One of our units has used all its ammunition. Get these guys out, move the other ones in. Alright, second wave can go in. And what I want them to do is just march straight up and take this. Look at all these units, they're just fantastic. Turn them guys down. Okay, why are these guys not moving? Come on. Get in, guys. Come on. There's a bloody gate there we need to take. Oh. I think we're in as well. Nice. Tower's mostly damaged. Well, so they got some units waiting from it. All right, the best best can wait till last. You know, you wait. You hold off your best units unless you don't need them. Okay, so they're being pelted to death. Now they've been pushed off. Actually, you know what? We're going to attack from behind. Let's move in. Uh, we've got one more to go for. Oh, never mind. Looks like, again, we were outweighing them so much and lost so many units just on the walls that it kind of paid off and the ships that lost as well. Okay, so we did lose both our skirmishes, which is a bit frustrating in a way, but then we did keep our uh, other units, so it's just nice. And the cool thing is, now that we've taken this, we can actually move up um, and finish off taking the rest of this settlement. So I'm going to wait here for now with this guy. And this unit is going to go up and take the last bit. And as soon as we take this, these other units should disappear, hopefully. Uh, that's the idea, anyway. Uh, let's move to here. Where can you go? Mm. Might be able to ambush me from there. Okay, so he's kind of backed off a little bit, for whatever reason. Settlement is mine. And 
Uh, let's move you back up here. Yeah, you're not doing too bad. Cool. So this guy's moved slightly off, which is fine. I'm not getting much money at the moment. I think it's just because I've got so many armies pushing out. Um, so I just need to watch what I'm doing so far. And the cool thing with this, don't need to change up. 